Hey Twin Cities, John Foss. I'm very excited to be talking with Maury Povich. We're talking about season 23, yes, 23 of The Maury Show, and it's gonna start October 5th, and it airs at 4 p.m. here on the CW Twin Cities. Maury, congratulations on 23 seasons, and Thank you tell us what much, we're gonna John. see. You know, like many programs uh, that viewers are watching these days, it's, it's going to be different. But quite frankly, I, I think it's going to, it's not that it's going to be better, it, it, it's going to be more textual. And I, and I say that because we don't have a live studio audience. Now, in past seasons, everybody knows that the audience were very much involved in the taping of the show. But now that we don't have that audience, and the fact that I'm doing, as I'm doing this interview virtually, uh, we can delve deeper into each story, and it, there's a there's an intimate flavor of the show that never really appeared before. And I think we're able to dig into the story more than we've ever been able to do. And I think the uh, drama and the conflict and the resolution, really in a, in a very strong way, comes out more uh, uh, colorful than it would with an audience. Are we going to start seeing a lot of COVID babies on the show now? I mean, how has this changed the landscape? Are there are there a lot more pregnancies? Because, you know, well, we've all yeah, been stuck inside. Right. So, uh, uh, you know, personally, uh, once I once the, uh, the most of the country was locked down in, in the early months of March and April and things, I said, oh, boy, you know, this is like the blackout in New York in the 1980s when all of a sudden nine months later, the hospitals were full, all the pediatric wards. But uh, I, it, it could be. I mean, you know, when, when you're when you're with somebody all that time, things can happen. Have you seen more of the the guests on the show? Are they more? Is there more angst? I mean, people, like I said, they've been inside. There's been a lot of stress in the environment. Now these people are finding out whether or not they're having going to be a father. What's what's it been like uh, doing these interviews over? I mean, over satellite and what are the people like are things the same or do you feel like there's a different feeling now that there's so many crazy things going on in the world so uh, what what i do find is that uh even with guys who deny the children uh there's more of a relationship uh with the with the mother than there was previously because uh either they're stuck in the same house or they're stuck nearby so I think there's more of a, of a, re a physical relationship between them than they would than they uh, wouldn't have uh, in in other days when the virus wasn't here. But it, but it's very interesting. Uh, the feelings are the same. You know, the denials aren't any less strong. Uh, the the uh, women uh, through their accusations, uh, the, the, they're no m more milder. Uh, so, so that kind of drama and that kind of conflict still exists. And last year at this time, when when you and I talked, we had this great uh, hope that we were going to see Nationals twins in the World Series. Didn't work yeah. out. The twins haven't had the best postseason success. But right now, we're in the playoffs. They just started. What do you think? How do you think things are going to play out this year? Because you're a big baseball fan, even uh, a bat boy for the Twins back in the day. What What do you think for this season? Well, first of all. Uh, First of all, I'm glad to see the Twins in this in this in the playoff picture. That's great, and I, you know, I want I want the teams like the Twins. I want them to move forward. Those teams that haven't been in the playoffs uh, significantly. I know the Twins got beat last year by the Yankees, and, and, but but at the same time, uh, maybe the yearly characters are going to go down in defeat this year. Now, when I say that, I mean the Dodgers and the Astros and the Yankees and, and those teams that spend all that money. And maybe those small market teams, when it comes to uh, how much money their payroll is, this is the time for them. And I'm so excited that mm -hmm. many of them are in the playoffs. And here's a little, little bit of a question I'm guessing you haven't gotten yet, but uh... So you have been a longtime journalist, and you're also married to one of the most famous journalists of all time, Connie Chung. Right. We just had our first debate, and it was pretty crazy. My question is, you know, you, you've been in journalism for, for a long time. Your wife, one of the most appreciated journalists of all time. What did she think of, of, of how it went down? Well, uh, 
th there's a four letter word I don't want to use uh, that goes along <laughs> with the word show. I mean, there was a, you know, a four letter word in front of the word show. Uh, I think that both of us felt that way. Uh, but, but at the same time, after watching an hour and a half of that, I, I, I now feel what a migraine would be if I ever had one. Because uh, Definitely. I, 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 I mean, I have some post-debate headaches that I'm not too sure uh, uh, any kind of aspirin is going to get rid of. <laughs> Definitely. Any, any predictions on who's going to win? The election? You know, I, I don't know. My, my wife, believe it or not, for the first time in her entire career, has come out in favor of uh, the former vice president. And uh, she's never in her life advocated for any political candidate. So she's very much involved in the Biden-Harris race. I, I am okay. complete. I am completely neutral, but I am so I'm not neutral in this aspect. We've got to vote. Everybody has to yeah. vote. And I don't care how you vote. I don't care whether you use mail-in ballots, whether you go in person. It doesn't, whether you go early in person, it doesn't matter to me. But I think more than ever, more than ever, the right to vote in this country is so important in this election. Well, now we know how she's going to vote. Are, are you going to tip your hat and tell us how you're going to vote? No, I'm not. Uh, I, I've never done that in my life, and, and uh, I, I, I find it a very, I find it a dear uh, moment of my being in terms of this being a democracy, and, and I hold that feeling very close to my chest. Awesome. All right. Well, Maury, it's always great to talk to you. Thank you so much. Great. Congratulations on season always. 23 right yep. here on the CW Twin Cities. It's going to start Thanks. October 5th, 4 p.m. Maury Povich, thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, John.